this one has a little bit of a sting to it. According to the New York Times, President Obama is failing at achieving the supposed number one goal of his agenda, looking out for the little guy, oh yeah, and saving the middle class. According to the analysis from the New York Times, America's middle class is no longer the richest in the world. Get this, our friends in Canada now hold the title. Joining me to talk about this is Ed Batowski, founder of Chapwood Investments. All right, I was trying to give you a crash course in my little diagram okay. here, which is a trapezoid with a triangle on top. Right. You hear all of these elites, like George Soros and Warren Buffett and, and uh, Bill Gates, talking about how we have to pay for all these programs. By taxing. To, by, by taxing. Right. And yet, it really seems to affect the, the not-so-rich rich, that we keep pushing down on the upper middle class, trying to fund all these things at the bottom, while even the escape hatch for the super elites, the billionaires. Well, they're, they're immune to any of this stuff. I mean, no matter whatever, whatever taxes you put on, it's not going to impact the, the super billionaires. But it is attacking exactly the people that Obama says that he's out to take care right, of. See now, see, now, if you, if you look at the handful of people, this 400 group that the progressives are talking about, right. you're right, their spending power isn't affected. But as you tax people, right in around, uh, you know, 250, 350, 455, right. up to a million, and their spending and purchasing power goes down, all the businesses they spend their money with, they lose revenue. Well, of course they a, do. There's a downward, there's a downward push. I, I am out there every single day. My clients every single day are talking to me about how their money isn't going this far. Now they're being taxed to death. They cannot expand their businesses, all right? I mean, the, just a 3.8% tax on investment income, that's new this year, is killing people. They, they got their tax bills, and they, you know, I'm not going to say they blamed me, but I felt it every single day because I'm related to money. These people are suffering. Businesses are not expanding because they are being suppressed. They're being suppressed by taxes. They're being suppressed by anti-business. And those super elite, of course, they're not being Well, nothing impacted. affects them. But see, they almost want the problem solved. It's like they want to put someone else's money where their mouth is. Right. Because they know there's only a handful yeah, of to, them. Yeah, to, to further their political agenda. And they make want them to look feel, like good guys. Good about it. But yes, we exactly. go after the millionaires, not the billionaires. But right. even when we say millionaire, that doesn't sound like a lot of money in some parts of the country. Mm -hmm. But if you live in New York, New Jersey, California, or major metropolitan cities, if you're not in the super rich, but you're not in the subsidized class, you're basically working just to pay taxes. That's what it feels like. I know I live in New Jersey. Yes, 65 to 70% of your money goes away. When you start adding up federal, state, city, and property be, taxes, any kind of taxes, taxes tolls, tax fees. Be, I took a, I, when I got a, a cab over here today, $13 to go through one of the tunnels. $13. I know, I do it. I drive from New Don't Jersey. Don't do it. Stop doing it. Find another way. That's what people are doing. They're leaving here because of that. And you're wondering why. You know what that then does? It makes them have to tax even more. And this great mayor that you have here now, de Blasio. We're going to get to that in just a second. I mean, my goodness, what an economic fool this guy is. He says, hey, you know what? Things are bad. Let's make them worse and tax more people. And then when that happens, more people are going to get taxed. It's going to be a death spiral. It's not a question of sympathy for people. And the president has a new surtax uh, buried in his 2015 budget that will raise a surtax on people making between one one and two million dollars. Mm -hmm. But you know, you look at some people who just got there. Right. Who just got there. I mean, I just added TV to my resume a year and a half ago. Yeah. I'm not saying I'm there yet, but I'm trying to get there. Yeah. And the idea that you're going to work your tail off to get your business up and running or your medical career off the ground or your law practice or your contracting firm off the ground, and then you finally hit that moment where you're now profitable and out of debt and the government says, you have to pay for all these programs. At some point, it's like, why am I doing this? And the elites seem to want to isolate. There's a sort of disdain for the petty bourgeois. Karl Marx wrote about that. that the elites don't like the, the working wealthy. They seem to like the trust fund wealthy and the artistic wealthy and the political wealthy. But the people that are hammer and nailing it out to make that, make that extra buck, those people, they're greedy. Oh, yeah, well, of course they're greedy. I mean, when you really stop thinking about it, it's like quicksand. Take you as an example. Work your tail off. You're moving up the economic ladder. You're doing great. But every time you turn around, there's another headwind coming at you. And if it was going someplace, guess what? I think you wouldn't have as much of a problem with it. But you know what? We just got more money going into the government than ever before from federal income tax, okay? Even though 71% of it came from the top 10%, but let's put that aside for a moment. You know what? We're still $800 billion short every year based on what we spend. If we were cutting that back, if things were growing, if the economy was growing, if things were going well, you and I probably wouldn't have as much of a problem paying a little bit more. But you know what? When you have 
50, I think it's closer to 60% of the people now pay no federal income tax and then well, turn to someone like you. Recipient class. Yeah. I will tell you my tax, my tax plan for the progressives after this segment. All right, Ed, thanks for stopping by.